I'm Dan Galush and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Got another ATI gun with us this time, but uh, not the air guns. We're going with the powder burners. It's a German sport gun. Uh, one that we've had before, in fact, two or three times, I think. And I've had the, the black, the brown, or, well, I guess you want to call it brown tan. And this is the green. It's the Firefly. And uh, the reason I've got another one, and I'm probably going to hang on to this one, uh, if it shoots, I have not even shot this thing yet. It's got some ammo in it. It's got some federal ammo, which I'll be doing. It's empty. But I'll show you a few of the features. I've done this before in a review. It's a good gun, easy pulling back, great sights. Take a look at those. Those little yellow dots are right on. I put uh, my laser light that I have that I use for sighting on a scope on a rifle or whatever, preliminary sighting. Of course, they're never dead on. But I put that down here, put it on there, and she's right on the dot. Uh, I did that with my Smith & Wesson that I had here a while back, which I'm going to be shooting again too, that 9mm, and it's slightly off, so uh, this one I'm hoping is going to be right on. It, it really seems like it. I, I really like the feel of this. Uh, Jim Johnston, who uh, is a gun expert and collector and also archery, he's really into that. He's an NRA instructor over in the Iowa area. Uh, he got a hold of this right away and says, man, I like the grip on that, the feel. He says, I really like it. He says, I like it better than the 9mm. Well, it is. I mean, it's got a, to me, it's got a real good grip. You'll notice right here, of course, this is a decocking feature. And your safety's right over here. Uh, this is your lockback. Right there. That's your slide lockback. And this right here is your decocking lever. There, decocked it. Yep. Just like that. Pull it down, decox it, and uh, loads easy. Uh, I'm really anxious to shoot this. We're going to be taking it out to the shoot and plink range. I won't be doing it here. And <clears throat> this is normally where I do all of my air gun stuff. But uh, we're going to be taking it out there. We're going to fire a few rounds of uh, whatever. I'm not sure what type of target I'm going to do. I might, might use a blast back and see how she works. And uh, I wish I had some extra magazines because then I can, and that's one of the things you want to do is always pick up some extra magazines because if you're going to go out and shoot and plank, especially with a gun like this, you're going to want, you know, you're not going to want to spend all your time sitting there loading. This is very, very easy to load. It's got a slide, you can see right down here. You just grab both sides of that, you got it right down here, see it button. Right there. You just grab that, slide it down as you go and drop your ammo in and away she goes. It's easy, easy loading. You don't have this stuff like with the, you know, no, hit the, no, it's not caught. And it's also a double action where you can do it like that. Of course, we're not going to fire it. You should never dry fire or rim fire. That's without a doubt. Otherwise, you're going to damage the firing pin. Uh, and also, I'm not going to dry fire it with that in there. So, there's no ammunition in it, but still in all, safety, safety first. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take this out, and we're going to shoot at the shoot and plink range, and then uh, we'll probably talk a little bit more about it. Well, we're out here at the range now with our Firefly. Like I said, this is a green one. This isn't the first one I fired, as you'll notice, looking at other shoot and plink videos. And uh, But we're going to see how this one does. They say the spring's different. We're going to find out. We're going to find out about the accuracy of it. Uh, should be pretty good. I'm going to fire there. I think I'm going to fire from the 10 round, the 10 yard line, and uh, that's you know just about the max when you're going to be qualifying. Because normally, when you're shooting qualifications, you go five, seven, and ten. Uh, so we're going to fire at the longest one, the 10. See how it works. And target's up there. So uh, what do you say we start shooting?
Okay, that was the uh, first 10 rounds ever fired out of this gun. And I'm gonna, I just loaded it up. We're going to fire 10 more and see what happens. I wasn't real happy with that. Uh, it could have been my eyes. They were blurring on the sights with these prescription glasses. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens this time. And I'm gonna try it the other way. Well, it was a little bit better, but you know, I'm gonna try another 10 rounds on this. Cause this is the, as I said, the first time this gun has ever been fired that I know of, cause it came directly out of the company, right out of ATI. And uh, so we're gonna try this again. And again at 10 yards and we're gonna see what happens. Um, in fact, I might move to the seven yard to see what, what we'll do with that. It didn't quite shoot those at the seven yard. Um, it was a little bit back further, for about halfway through, uh, probably about uh, eight and a half, right in there somewhere. Uh, we're gonna try another at 10, and then we're gonna get the target, and we're gonna talk a little bit about it. And uh, As I said, first time, and I don't think it's too bad. I, this gun's a lot of fun. Maybe that's why I wanna keep shooting, I don't know. Well, we'll take it a shot, see what happens. As you could probably tell, because like I said, you can always see it better than I can because the camera's right on it. Uh, those last 10 rounds were done a little bit better, and I was having to get used to this. As I said, the first time I fired this one, and and I'm really happy with it. I'm going to hit the decocker. Uh, it, it shoots very, very nice. I've had two problems, two malfunctions, uh, where for some reason the ammo jammed in it and I really don't know why it didn't extract the one it put it right on top of it and that I'm I'm just not sure it's my ammo or what I'm using Federal Champion and it's 1260 so it's plenty of velocity I uh, just don't understand if it's the the gun or the ammo like I said I had two failures on me uh, but otherwise as you've seen I got some right in the center bullseye and a lot of them in the black pistol bullseye, the four inch one, the rest are out here. And I think that I know of all 40, I mean, I haven't counted it up, but I think all 40 of my rounds hit within this area, which is a qualification area. And so, you know, that's not too bad. Uh, the sights are good. I got a little used to them though. I, when I had my prescription glasses on, it, it was quite blurry back there. I've got distance glasses and I got kind of weird eyesight anyway, uh, but uh, the more you shoot it, you know, I run 200 rounds to that or so, it's going to be a lot better. Uh, the only thing that's got me a little bit concerned are those two malfunctions I had, because uh, out of the 40 rounds, oh, I only had two, but still in all, I would have liked to add zero. Uh, so... I'm not going to worry with rating it due to the fact that I've done a review on it several different times, but I would, you know, I'd rate it right up there in the four or five star. Room. The only reason I'd drop it to four 
is because of the fact of the malfunction. And again, I don't know if that's the ammo or the gun, but I had a feeling it might have been the gun, at least on one of them. Uh, not on the other, I'm just not too sure. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day at Blanket.